You know Catherine, right? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. Honestly, man, I wouldn't be surprised. She's always meeting new people for work. This point on, your skills will be tested by various puzzles. Bomb blocks are lit when you walk over them and will damage nearby blocks. Where am I this time? There's still more? Because of you. Thank you. Promise me that you'll make it to the next level too. You're pretty popular now, huh? I'm finally able to play the way I want to play. I think it's because you accepted me for who I am, Vincent. Really? The questions we're being asked in the confession were supposed to judge our lives, right? That's what I've been told. Those questions sure are strange. I feel like I should be picking the right answer, not what I'm honestly feeling. How have you been answering? Well, I try to look like I'm really thinking it over. Yeah, me too! I picked the one that seems more polite. Wait, if everybody takes the goody two-shoes option, aren't we just passing into obscurity? Doesn't that mean I'm going to be considered worthless? We should just stick to being honest from now on. Climb and climb, but I keep seeing Anna's face, constantly hurting the one person that I love. 
Why am I alive? Why was I even born? Hey, are you alright? True freedom. That's the only chance I have left. That voice! It was my wife! You traitor! I'll kill you! That's what she said! I cheated on her, so she cursed me! Seriously? Decisive man who bumbles his way through the real world. Come on, hurry up and ask your question. I want to get this over with tonight. This is the eighth question. Do you think your friends could betray you someday? Fascinating. The deeper their bonds grow, the more suspicious they become of each other. Shut up. I have enough to worry about back home. No, you must continue to worry. Both here and in the real world. What's true, what's false, and what path shall you take? <laughs> Two types of bomb blocks with different blast radii. How brightly they glow will help you figure out which is which. Not gonna die. Commencing area two. Are you ready? Piero's reassuring as always, but is it just me or have you gotten a lot better? I think when I hugged you yesterday, my heart filled with warmth. And then you listened to what I had to say. It really made me happy. So I channeled that emotion into my music. And thanks to that, I'm getting closer to being able to play the way I always wanted to. This must be the power of love. <laughs> 
Rin, when you say love... Huh? Oh, never mind. I've got a lot further to go. Uh, hey. Huh? That voice. That hair. <laughs> never mind. <sighs> Thank God you're alive. Thank God my ass. I'm just gonna be cooking all day tomorrow, and the day after that. I'm probably just going to collapse one day like my old man. Tell me, does that kind of life have any meaning? But you can cook, and you can sing, right? That's pretty impressive. That's right. Singing was the only time I truly felt like myself. What do I have now? Why do you keep talking to me? I'm just a cook. You have nothing to gain by talking to me. Choose friends based on their value to society? No. Then I'd be the same as them. I don't know anymore. Man, I heard all over. Oh, man. The others seem to trust you and that piano player. Sheep that would have died a long time ago are still alive. And what about those guys who attacked me? What's up with them? Ah, yes. There are many sheep like that now. They've lost their sanity. If you lose your mind, all you have left to lose is your life. They don't exist in the real world anymore. Are you serious? This is the ninth question. Do you always think of dirty jokes? <laughs> so that's your choice. Huh. Interesting. Consider tonight's trial the midpoint. Only the truly skilled will survive from here on out. The trials will only get longer, so there's no time to waste. Then hurry the hell up. I'll get out of here before the night is over. Very well. I'll take you to the next level. It's a race against time on this long staircase. Use the items to your advantage and reach the door before you lose your footing. Just let me climb this tower like normal, damn it! Commencing area three. Are you ready? Party, and the woman I love is... And I get these nightmares too? This sucks. That was amazing. I really admire your determination, Vincent. 
Ah, flattery will get you nowhere with a loser like me. You're not a loser, Vincent. You gave me a place to stay when I lost everything. You cheered me up whenever I was feeling down. You're kind, and you see people for who they are on the inside. You've given me so much in this short time, Vincent. Oh, Rin. So... <laughs> What's wrong? M my head. Uh, are you okay? Maybe this is what it's like to be sick. I did take a cold shower. So you need to take better care of yourself. Wait, there's more? I'm gonna throw my back out. I'm glad you made it up all right. It's like my hands are just moving on their own now. I don't know how I got so good at climbing this stuff. It's up above. I can feel it. Mother, I can tell. I'm, I'm tired. Tired of this life of running. Hey, hey. Mother's hands. Always so cold. So cold. She never let me wear clothes. Instead of dragging myself through hell. Maybe it's better just to die here. Hey, I can't understand what you went through. I'm sure you don't. And I don't want you to. Oh, well, maybe I do. Maybe I wanted someone to understand me. Damn it. Hey, it's you again. Damn it. Why did he go away all of a sudden? Where did he go? Hey, shut up. I can hear you. Sorry. Yeah, I understand. Getting chased around by weird monsters every night. Well, go. There's another big one waiting to greet you tonight. <sighs> I think you're starting to get careless. Do you remember what I said about the tide shifting? And what the hell does that have to do with anything? Well, it's almost time. This is the tenth question for a new possibility. What factors in the most when you make an important decision? <laughs> that one, huh? Very well. I've noted it. Let me give you a little warning. Depending on what you choose, your life might change rather drastically. And at the core of it all, is that pianist? Rin, what are you talking about? Your true value is about to be tested. Of course, your options will be limited. The choices you've made will determine what paths remain. I wonder what kind of trial they'll lead you to. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? Walking into an uncertain future like that. Your next challenge is that fear itself. This is the final area for tonight. Observe the traps created by the enemy and stay calm. All right, let's just climb this thing and get it over with. What? No way! I'm not your dad. Definitely not your dad! Child with Chainsaw has appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. Alright, right, I got it. Edge. Come <laughs> on. 
Okay. If I just open this. Sorry to say, tonight will be the last time I show you your memories. You've seen enough by now. To conclude, let's pick up where we left off on your budding romance. <laughs> Yikes, I drank way too much. I'm really sorry, you know, about last night. <laughs> We're both adults here. There's no need to apologize. What are you in the mood for today? I could make breakfast for us. Hey, Catherine. Hmm? Question. Do you want to be my girlfriend? How's that sound? Huh? <laughs> About time. Well, do you remember what you held so dear? To be honest, I planned to enjoy watching a pitiful lamb drown in his regrets. But this took a turn for the unexpected. You truly are interesting. What lies ahead is a direct result of the path you've taken thus far. Will you let this experience fade into the past? That's up to you. here anyway I, I mean they the, the ants what, what are they doing here stupid ants they're after this what is it cake well who did you get this from how did ants get here so damn quick I can't tell her that Catherine brought it oh I've got a, a real sweet tooth is all <laughs> uh, wait really so do I <laughs> So, uh, when did you get here? Oh, what, like you forgot? You said that you were feeling better, so I hurried right over. Huh? When did I tell you that? I guess my memory's a little fuzzy. Aw, you always say that. <laughs> Relax, you worry too much. Trust me, you are just fine, baby. <laughs> well, gee, thanks. Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, <laughs> don't have time today. Ah! No! What, what is it this time? It's, it's that horror movie I told you about. This is the last week they're gonna be showing it in theaters, what? remember? What, what movie? I don't know what I'm gonna do if I miss it. Yeah, okay, okay. Can we wait till tomorrow? I've kind of got some stuff to take care of today. <laughs> This will be our first real date! It'll be so much fun, don't you think? <laughs> I am totally lost here. Ugh. Ugh. Yes! <laughs> Look, I've got to ask you something. You know what I'm talking about, right? Huh? Don't you have anything to tell me? Vincent, what in the world are you talking about? All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Wait, Listen what's to going me. on? I, uh. I heard something the other day. 
What did you hear? Something from an acquaintance of yours. What? Who? Uh, well, do you know a guy named Steve? Steve? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know anyone named Steve. Exact. Wait, what? Y you don't? No. No? Not even one? Like I said, I don't know any Steves. Well, how could you not? I mean, Steve's a pretty common name, right? Wait! I did meet a Steve yesterday. <laughs> yesterday? My friend's son was named Steve. I think. Son? How old is he? Um, two months, maybe? She'd just come back from the hospital. No, no, not him. Don't you know any other Steves? Huh? Well, I'm sure I do, if I check. You, you mean you have to check and see if you know anybody named Steve? I guess so. Look, what is this all about? <laughs> well... Speak up and tell me. Who's Steve? Some friend of yours? What are you getting at? Well, if you don't know, then let's just drop it. Are you sure you don't know him, know Steve? Why do you keep asking me that? I told you, I don't know. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Huh? Oh, uh... <laughs> What is going on? Look at the wrong girl again? I, mean, I can't think of anyone else. Okay, so now I've got to play off this whole Steve business. If she finds out about her through this, I am in deep shit. Uh, well, it, it, it's a good thing you don't know him. There's this asshole at my work who said he might know you. So, uh... Huh? Are you okay? You've been acting weird lately. You're pale, you say things that don't make any sense. Yeah, well, you know what? There's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense lately. Like the future and everything. I don't get it. Uh, what do you mean, you don't get it? Uh, well... What part of our future don't you get? That's not what I meant. I mean, I'm, I'm worried about work. It's a new job and all, and I'm having problems with the client, so I'm tired. <laughs> I've been getting strange texts lately. Strange how? I don't know. They don't make sense. It's just creepy. <laughs> Wait, what do they say? What are the words? You know what? It's not important. Just forget it. Okay, but... Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me. Are you? Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm hiding so much shit here. I don't want her to worry, but I can't just come clean. All I can do now is keep up the lies. Come on, I'm not keeping anything from you. Well, you've got to go back to work, right? I do too. Um, I should go. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll call you. Which girl? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I asked around, and nobody knows who you are. You... you told her? <laughs> well, yeah, of course I did. I and mean, that's the quickest way to split up, right? Y yeah but, but what do you mean, nobody knows me? Well, that's exactly why I called. Look, wh why don't you just tell me something about the girl you called me about? Like, what does she look like?
<sighs> Sorry, but you got the wrong guy. What? I, I know a girl named Catherine, but it's somebody different. What? Don't you try to fool me. Look, the Catherine I know, she's white. Uh, it can't be. I, I mean, she told me about you herself. It's a different person. I don't blame you for all this, but please, just leave me alone. What's going on? I... But, but where's my Catherine? How should I know? But she... She's all I have now. <laughs> I'm already divorcing my wife. She came into my life suddenly, and then I just... Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's gonna come for me, and I... Look, I'm the one going crazy here! <laughs> I won't call you again. So leave me alone, okay? Wait, 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 no, don't hang up. I still have... What the hell was his problem? Long day. Huh? What the? That smoke? <laughs> Rin, you in there? What happened? Good morning. R uh, Rin, are, are you uh, okay? I think I am. But, but you, you, uh, are you a guy? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, my shower wasn't working. Wait, 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 wait. So I I'd this can't be right. Is Ren, Ren seriously, seriously a guy? I mean, I, I had no fucking clue when I was falling. I mean, no, no, I wasn't falling in love or anything. I mean, what kind of a guy looks like that? What was I supposed to think? I mean. And then my memories came back. Hey, Vincent, are you alright? Don't touch me! <laughs> I'm sorry. Ren, wait, please. Shit. I fucked up. I really don't know anything, do I? Sitting here is not gonna fix anything. I gotta go apologize. Ah! Catherine! Vincent! What are you doing in there? Oh, there was just a problem with the plumbing. What are you doing here? Oh, well, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Do you have time? Well, uh,. Does it have to be right this second? Um, well... Yeah. Huh? Are you serious? Are you gonna get it? Oh, no. If I waste any more time, I might not be able to find Rin. This thing with Catherine seems pretty important. Either way, it's sure as hell not a good time to pick this up. Sorry, Catherine. There's something I need to do. I'll hear you out later. I promise, all right? Oh, if it's that important, I, I understand. Sorry for bringing this up out of nowhere. Just don't worry about what I said. You should hurry. Yeah, thanks, Catherine. Maybe I should have been more honest with him.
Hey, is Ren here? Did something happen, Vincent? Well, I kind of saw Ren naked and... Wait, you guys saw the doctor. You... Have you known this whole time? Come on, this isn't some horrible... <gasps> Don't tell me you lashed out over this. Seriously? Call and apologize right now! Yeah, okay. Rin, listen, I'm sorry about earlier. I, I didn't mean it. I was just surprised. Vincent, um, I'm sorry too. I ran away so suddenly. No, no, don't apologize. This is all my fault. Where are you? Are you safe? Yes, I'm fine. It's getting late. Why don't you come back to the apartment? No, I can't go back. <sighs> Hearing that from someone like me is not exactly what you want. I'm sorry. I just thought maybe you'd be okay with it. Oh. I knew you had a girlfriend, so I wasn't planning on telling you this. But when I saw how kind you were, how you didn't judge people by appearances, I started dreaming about the future. Rin. Falling for someone for the first time, I felt my world growing bigger and brighter. It was only a few days, but I had so much fun being able to play the piano and help you are memories I'll treasure for the rest of my life. You'll, you'll make it through without me, Vincent. So please, promise me. You'll find your own happiness. Red! Girl's a guy, huh? You just can't judge a book by its cover these days. Come on. You're acting like you've never seen anything like this before. No skin off my back. I only have eyes for Erica. So, what happened anyway? Well. Something like that, I'd run away too. Right? What an asshole. Excuse me, I had no fucking idea. <laughs> Your life's fallen apart. Hearing a love confession is pretty damn powerful. Now, may I please have another drink? Jeez. Oh, Wait, Rin confessed? Must have been a pretty big wake-up call. But just take that loss and move on. It's not a loss, all right? Are you saying you're interested? No. Maybe. Whoa there, are you serious? Look, no matter how cute, the kid's packing heat, I know man. that. It's just... Rin accepted me the way I am, you know? Well, what exactly do you want here? Hey, you paying attention? Hey, Vincent, why do you care about Rin so much? You guys just met. How deep could your relationship be? It's hard to explain. It's like Rin helps me see things in a way I never even thought about before. Like a whole new perspective, I guess. Not to mention, Rin saved our lives. 
saved our lives? When? What are you talking about? We're the ones that did the saving. Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. I get it. It's a change of pace for you. No one would fault you for that. But it's starting to sound like you're actually in love. Are you? No. I mean, yeah, we're close. It's not like Ren's the one. That seat's taken. <sighs> Thank you. And man. <sighs> Sorry, dude, but you brought this on yourself. That's for sure. the whole Catherine cheating on you thing. <sighs> that turned out to be the wrong girl. <laughs> the wrong girl? Yeah, the Catherine he was talking about was someone else entirely. Jeez. But seriously? Well, lucky for you, this was just some dumbass's mistake. The world's full of troublemakers. But it, it can't be. I mean... She told me about you herself! No, I mean, there's no way. He has to be mistaken. Oh, uh, you guys better be careful, too. Haven't you heard the rumor? Ah, uh, that again? They say all the men who died were cheaters. So they were cursed. Uh, just get your ass back to work. Vincent isn't cheating anymore, so there's nothing to worry about. The curse, huh? Oh, well, that's great. I've got no choice but to accept it. Well, look, when you feel guilty, sometimes you want to be punished, you know what I mean? But this curse stuff is just crazy. It's not rational. Grow up, man. Besides, there are plenty of other ways to die in your sleep. Plus... Plus? Well, you know... I've sort of been having funny dreams, too. Dreams? Well, to be honest, I've been having odd dreams recently myself. And like you were saying, I don't remember exactly what they're about, but... Yeah, it's some hard shit. Well, hey, are you serious? <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all just dreams. Yeah, but are you sure it's fine? Of course it's fine. What a second. Come to think of it, he, he said something. I, I'm going crazy! It's gonna come for me and I... What's going to come for him? Am I missing something important here? Anyway, this is about you, Vincent. What are you gonna do? Huh? Oh, my nightmares were all caused by this trouble. But they forced me to realize something. Which is... I took everything for granted, up until now. I feel like now, I remember what I've always held dearest to me. Sounds selfish to me. Really? I know, but I can't betray the person who's been with me all this time, despite who I am. I can't lose her now. Yeah, that's the spirit, Chief. Then maybe you shouldn't be here drinking right now. Well, yeah. Mm. I've got something left to do. I need to change my focus. I see. Hey, fear me. Sure, let me get that for you. Yeah, that's right. Let's get to drinking while we're thinking. Your treat. Yeah, right. Got a mail.
quieter without Rin's piano playing. I don't know why. I've got a feeling the nightmare's going to be way worse tonight. You all look like you're in really bad shape. Nothing's wrong with you? I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are... Uh, anyway, let's, let's have a drink. <sighs> Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me, are you? Looks like I was the only one hiding something. <laughs> Have you checked the high scores for that game? Why are you boasting? Huh? What? I've got the high score right now. But really? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. You got a mail. safe then? I guess there's nothing more to worry about. Yeah. You've still got a mess to deal with. What you gonna do about that girl you're cheating with? She's still in the dark, right? I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent! I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna... propose to... I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah. Thanks. What was that? Nightmare about. Oh, the liquor's really hitting me today. By the way, I called Rin. It seems the amnesia's gone. All those missing memories came flooding back when Rin left the apartment. <sighs> I wonder how Rin's doing. Rin seemed okay on the phone, so cheer up, guys. All this nightmare talk really worries me. <laughs> I don't believe it. Dreams are just weird. But have you seen the news? One of the victims was a regular here. He was a good man. If this stuff keeps happening... Anyway, you don't need to worry. Okay. Oh, yes. I heard the word cheating. After that, how did things go? Like shit. It ain't getting any better. It doesn't matter anymore. I've decided. I'm gonna break up with that girl. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side. Plan on telling her about the affair one day. Don't know if she'll ever forgive me for it, though. Well, it seems you have come to a conclusion. I hope it leads you to a good ending. Love is a diplomacy. Love is a game. Whether you push forward or fall back, it's all up to you. I'll settle. After that, I hope that I don't get routed. You got a mail. Like you found your path. <laughs> I'll see you tonight at the Spiral Corridor. What the? Hey, do you know where Daniel? 
Willis, I can't reach him. What? Really? Do you text message and call your girlfriend every day? Um, uh, well... Yes, that's how all you men are. You never think about the feelings of the people waiting for you. Uh, he said that he'd been having nightmares lately. He's done for, isn't he? All of the men who talked about nightmares are dead. It's okay. Uh, uh, he's adopted. He's been working hard all of his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through and dealt with the pressure all his life. And then for it all to end like this. It's so sad. Come on, he's gonna be okay. Believe in him. Age 29 was the latest victim. What a grisly story. Ugh. Archie Wallace, age 28. Archie? <sighs> oh my, Archie. These deaths are hitting close to home these days. Morgan Cortez, age 42. Morgan? <sighs> Did she just say Morgan Cortez? That's the officer who used to come here. Kevin Taylor, age 31. That concludes the current known list of victims. We'll be moving on to the news after a brief update on the weather in Area 15. The eldest son of the Barreal family just purchased 500 circuit boards and casings for a popular video game. I'm tired today. I interviewed another woman today for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who was the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. I'll be right back. Sonny looks pretty bad. He always hides his problems from us, huh? But Chief's so cool. When one of his guys messes up, he sticks with him till the end. And that's his problem. He needs to take it easy. Man, if I was a girl, I'd be all over Chief. Tell him that when he comes back. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> 